I cook every single day, three times a day. And how much ever I plan, the cooking seems to be never ending. Like all other tasks, housework can also get monotonous at times. Does that mean I don't enjoy my housework? I hope my story today provides an answer to this question. Maintaining plants is a task that the more I put off, the more work it feels like. Plants have life and just like how we can't stop eating, we also can't stop feeding them. Some of these plants outgrew their current pot size and some simply need to be shifted to better soil. Housekeeping or homemaking is more interesting if you like being at home, although similar surroundings can make for a dull space over the years. One doesn't need to do much to uplift any area. Lighting a candle, adding some fresh flowers, burning an incense stick or even adding a plant. These are some of the many small things one can do. As my sambar is cooking on the side, I thought of giving mint and basil a better home which are these terracotta pots for now. I have been delaying doing this pending task because I knew it would take some time. I find that doing things I love alongside heavy duty cooking makes the process enjoyable. Some activities seem hard until you really start doing them. Some call it time management, I call it happiness management. A small hack to make balconies seem lush is to combine two similar or same plants into one single pot. I find that immediately changes the entire look. You say that something's got to give You say it's one way to live Have you ever considered making frozen curry cubes for yourself? And wait for better days I think we must Back in the days when I was living in India I would see people abroad and notice how freezing food was pretty common Although I wasn't sure of the advantages of doing that now, being in the same setup, I find myself doing the same. <laughs> I 
I am making a simple onion tomato curry that only has a pinch of turmeric and little bit of salt that I am going to freeze in the form of cubes. Tarka for dal, curry for aloo sabzi, base for rajma, kofta or even chole. Everything just needs these cubes to start with. I've recently discovered that if a pot doesn't have holes in it, then laying a bed of stones underneath the soil prevents the roots from rotting. At the same time, it's necessary to water carefully. Seems like forever Since we've been together The curry mixture needs to be cooked until all the moisture dries out thoroughly You bet And I reach your life your pictures Oh God I miss you so bad It's been so I'd been wanting to try this new DIY to replace the paintings inside these frames This amazing online world has tons of ideas that came to my rescue it's a good idea to make rough templates of designs first and then use that to draw out the final designs. Just like little drops of water make a mighty ocean, smaller changes combine to make for a bigger one. Homemaking is a lot about nourishing your own mind and soul before that of others in the home. I've developed a love for cooking with time. It was never natural to me. 
What was natural was the will to keep trying. Good food has a way of making us happy and so I kept learning and teaching myself over the years. our Sunday brunches and today dosa was on the menu. This morning was quite busy and without realizing we were hungry. I quickly churned a coconut chutney and started to work on the dosas. But we'll never figure it out. Somehow In the fall Dog starts barking your body We like to start our day with a bed tea. This is when we also like to talk about everything under the sun, ranging from politics to history and philosophy. Today we ended up talking about why women are so adept at their work. Today's conclusion was that multitasking is a skill that women are inherently born with and this is what makes us good at getting things done. <laughs> Each one of you is special at what you do and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I hope my story makes you love your housework. Till then, keep on living, keep on loving and happy cup shopping. In this little town there is always someone alone.